Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Have you ever had the situation when you go to sort a range of data in Excel and Excel includes the header row in your sorting? Well, let's take a look at a couple different ways we can deal with that in Excel. So here I have a scenario where I have a data range and I want to sort this data by location. Now normally I should just be able to click into that column of the data range, go to the data tab, and click A to Z or Z to A, depending if I want it to be in ascending or descending order, and it should sort all the data based on that. So if I go ahead and click that, it sorts it, but notice it included the headers in that sorting process. Well, one reason that that could happen is because you have a blank in one of your headers and that confuses Excel it doesn't exactly know if that's truly a header row or not so if I put a header in here I'll put description now when I go to do that same thing click A to Z notice Excel realizes that that's a full header row and it will not include it within the sort I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Now, if you have the situation where you really want a blank in your header, you can address that in two different ways. One, you can select your data. You can go to the Data tab and click the Sort button here. And now you can tell Excel, my data has header rows. Pick the column by which you want to sort, A to Z or Z to A, say OK, and Excel will then sort it properly. One other possibility is you can trick Excel. Let's say you just want to put something simple up here like the letter X, and then you can go to the Home tab, and in the font color, you can change it to white so it appears to be a blank, but in fact there is something in there, and then when you go to sort using the normal sort buttons, it will sort because it realizes that you have a true header row. Now, one other situation could be where I have just text in my data range, and again, if I select something in location and hit A to Z, notice that Excel includes location in the sorting process. That's because Excel cannot tell that I have a header in there because it looks just like everything else. Well, one way around this again is to use the sort button and define the fact that you have a header row, or you can just take the headers and format them differently than you have all the other data within your range. And now, since I've done that, if I go to sort the data there, I click on A to Z, and Excel recognizes that my header row is differently formatted than the rest of the text, and it allows me to sort it properly. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy Excelling!